everyone. Wayne from the CERN and Earth and Space Center here. In today's video, we're going to gear up for the upcoming Mars 2020 missions landing attempt of the Perseverance rover by taking a look at some of the past explorations of Mars. There have been many robotic spacecraft sent by humans to explore the Red Planet, including orbiters, landers, probes, and rovers. Far more than we could cover in just one video. So today, we're going to focus on just the history of rovers on the surface of Mars. There have been six rovers sent to Mars, four of which were successful, and there are two more currently on the way. So let's jump right in and take a look at them. The first two rovers that were sent to Mars were sent by the USSR in 1971. The Prop M rover, which we can see here, was part of the Soviet Mars 2 and Mars 3 missions. It was built attached to the lander by cables and had skis to move around on the surface. Unfortunately, neither mission was successful. The Mars 2 mission failed its landing attempt, and the Mars 3 mission landed successfully, but then stopped communicating less than a minute after its landing. It would be another 26 years before another rover reached the surface of the Red Planet, and that was the Sojourner rover in 1997. It was part of the Mars Pathfinder mission and landed on July 4th. It was the first wheeled vehicle to explore another planet. It was equipped with solar panels for power, three cameras, and a spectroscopy tool to determine the elemental composition of rocks and dust. It was designed to function for seven souls, or Mars days, possibly extending up to 30, but it ended up being active for 87 souls. This was the first, but not the only time, that a Mars rover would outlast its planned mission parameters. The next rovers to reach the surface of Mars were the Mars Exploration Rovers, better known by their individual names of Spirit and Opportunity. Spirit landed a few weeks before Opportunity, and they were scheduled for 90 days of mission time. They had many scientific instruments, including a wide variety of cameras, multiple types of spectroscopy tools, magnets, a microscope, and a tool for removing the surface of rocks to expose fresh surfaces. The landing of these two rovers was quite interesting. The lander pods were encased in giant airbags which then bounced along the surface of the planet until finally coming to a stop. And we can watch a video of what that was like right here. Well, both rovers sent back some amazing panoramas of Mars landscape, some of which we'll see here. Here is a panorama of the Martian surface taken from the Spirit rover. And next we have one from the Opportunity rover. A Spirit traveled across Mars covering nearly five miles until March of 2010, when after being stuck in soft sand for nearly a year, communications finally failed. An Opportunity lasted much longer than that, operating from 2004 until June of 2018. It covered nearly 30 miles of terrain when a planet-wide dust storm covered its solar panels and it was unable to recharge its batteries. Curiosity was the next and most recent rover to make it to the surface of Mars. It landed in August of 2012 for a two-year mission which has been extended indefinitely. It is still operational, having covered 15 miles so far and still going. Curiosity is powered by a nuclear generator, which means it doesn't need to rely on solar recharging to stay operational. It has a wide range of scientific instruments, including high-definition panoramic cameras and tools to search for organic compounds and other building blocks of life to see if Mars could have supported microbial life forms at some time in the distant past. It was delivered to the surface using a sky crane system, which used rocket boosters to slow and hover over the surface and then lowered the rover with a 20-meter cable that placed it right on the surface of the planet, active and ready to roll. Here we can see a picture of all three of the rovers that are currently on the surface of Mars. We have the Sojourner rover on the bottom. At, to the left, we see the 
model of Spirit and Opportunity, the Mars Exploration Rovers. And on the right, we have Curiosity. Curiosity is about the size of a small car, so that'll give you a little bit of an idea on the scale of these rovers. Now, this brings us now to Perseverance. It will attempt landing using just a few days from now using a similar sky crane system as Curiosity. It has similar science objectives as well, looking for signs of past microbial life, as well as testing conditions for possible human exploration in the future. It even has a helicopter drone named Ingenuity, which, if successful, will be the first craft to fly in the atmosphere of another world, and it will scout locations for the rover to study. Now, there are other rovers being sent to Mars as well. China's Tianwen-1 will reach orbit about the same time as Mars 2020, but the rover is not scheduled to land until May of this year. And there are several other missions from around the world in various stages of development. Now, Mars and the Perseverance rover will be all over the news in the coming weeks. I highly recommend you watch NASA's live feed of the landing attempt on February 18th. There will be lots more information about Perseverance and Ingenuity, and fantastic commentary from some of the experts and people who worked on this mission. I'll keep an eye on the CERN Center's Facebook page for links and more info on that. But you can also see Mars for yourself if you'd like. It's high in the nighttime sky right now, not too far away from Taurus the Bull, so it's pretty easy to spot in the nighttime sky. Now, thank you for watching. Once again, my name is Wayne from the CERN and Earth and Space Center, and remember to get out there and take a look at your nighttime skies.